Our first load live radar scans the state dry. Hi, everybody. Good morning. We have a storm system that produced all that rain on Saturday. Well, it's still meandering out in the open waters of the Atlantic, and it's called what we're calling it, it's what we call retrograding. It's moving from east to west. Typically, our weather goes from west to east. But this one, it's unfortunately bringing some cloud coverage into the state this morning, making for a very picturesque sunrise at 645 earlier this morning. But as you can see, the storm system is going to continue to plague us for the next couple of days with some cloud coverage. Today, I think we're going to see most Mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Those clouds are really going to start to increase with maybe even some drizzle tomorrow late afternoon through the evening. Look at that temperature on Saturday. It was 40 degrees. Remember the normal high is 51 40 degrees. Yesterday got to 47 with mostly sunny skies. So yesterday was a little bit better, but still below average. Let's check in with the rain. You're going to see this. Look at this 2.24 inches of rain at Bradley, and there are were reports of over three inches of rain in parts of the state. That's close to a month's worth of rain in one day. We don't need any more rain. 31 degrees right now with a wind out of the north at Bradley with mostly overcast conditions. Nice skyline there in New Haven. 33 with a north wind at 12. That does make it feel a little bit cooler. So again, the temperatures are cooperating. They're close to where we uh, normally should be. 31 is the typical overnight low. We've got that for you at Brainerd, Windsor Locks, Meriden, Willimantic, Norwich. A lot of 31s out there, Danbury included. So the numbers are pretty close to average, but at least we're up anywhere from four to six degrees better than where we were 24 hours ago. Now there is that sustained breeze, and it's going to be a breezy day today, 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the northeast, which is really never a favorable direction for us. So this uh, sustained wind anywhere from six to 15 miles an hour is making it feel a little bit cooler, like 17s and 18s, 20s, 22. So it feels like it's in the upper teens, low 20s this morning. So again, make sure you bundle up. Mostly sunny today. It's a chilly start. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. We're expecting uh, some scattered drizzle tomorrow evening through early Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday during the day, we're expecting some scattered showers. Again, you're watching that storm system come in from the east headed west. Again, not a favorable direction for us and a very, um, a very, very rare opportunity to see this type of activity. Uh, typically, our weather goes from west to east. All right, so this is Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies. And then Wednesday, we're going to be dealing with some scattered rain showers. Nothing too potent, but nonetheless, Saturday, Wednesday, especially Wednesday evening, there could be some scattered showers around. And then Thursday, unfortunately, looks like we're going to get some more rain. Forecasted highs today in the mid to upper 40s, mostly sunny. Again, the sun was up at 645, sets at 709. Nice day of weather today. And then your seven-day forecast. Again, afternoon and evening drizzle tomorrow. A few showers around on Wednesday. It's not a washout. Thursday is going to be a little wet, but not as much rain as we got on Saturday. And then clearing and breezy. breezy hippity hoppity. Easter's on its way with temperatures that are going to be in the low 50s with partly to mostly sunny skies. So a nice looking forecast for the upcoming holiday weekend. That's check of your first alert forecast. Kate, we'll send it back to you. All right, Scott. Thank you. And